What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, I know that I'm on a or downgraded back to my Kindle. But that's because my Chromebook. I am working on some shit on there. Flip the TV on here. But like, you know, something I just wanted to talk about is my music ain't a game. Like, I've been seeing some of the comments. Sorry about that. But, like, I've been seeing some of the comments on my posts since my release of I'm a Monster in the stores and on Spotify. And one of the comments, which I will read off here off my Chromebook for you guys, I mean, it really annoyed the hell out of me. Like, and this is something that I can speak for a lot of people about this, because a lot of people get told this. What up, Seth? But, like, and also, if you guys didn't know, I did make a post last night, um, regarding this, um, game I really got into. I actually wound up beating the hardest, like, the hardest song on the legendary mode, which is not easy, but I nailed it. But if you guys want to check that out, you can. But this is from a guy named Diego Sendra. And he actually mentioned my name in this when posting this. And this is something that really got under my skin. Um, he's like, Perfect answer to all the motherfuckers. Good luck with your game. And just let me clarify, my music is not a game. Like, you know, this is something that I want to do with my life. And I ha I see way too many people out there nowadays. Like, oh, you know, like, I own the game. I do this. Dude, music is music. It's not a game. It's a way of life. It's, you know, a way to make a living. Like, you know, when I do my music, yeah, I not only want to put out good music that everybody enjoys, obviously, but, you know, it's it's like a job. Like, this is something that I enjoy doing as a career. And for me, this is not just a game. Like, you know, I said, it's a way of life. It's a way to make money. It's a job. It's a career. I mean, too many people say, oh, this is a game, that's a game. Dude, doing music is not a game. Like, if you're going to do it, and, you know, do it properly. Like, you know, and I see this going on way too much. And there is one comment that really pissed me off. I'm not saying any names because I don't want to bitchin'. But, it's in that, that same exact post that you guys saw about my stuff finally going into stores and on Spotify. And that dude is like, I told you you should have gone indie, but good luck with your game. And basically what they were saying is that, you know, that I should go independent because that's what I'm doing now. But what they were saying is that I should go, you know, mainstream and sell out and stuff, and I'm not going to do that. I refuse to go mainstream, and people wonder why all the time. And it's because of the fact that if I do, I'm going to have cameras in my face every five seconds, everywhere I go. Um, you know, just different shit, and like the stuff that isn't needed. Plus, they're going to want to make me into somebody and then I'm not, and that's not me. I refuse to be that kind of person. I refuse to be a sheep to the slaughter in that sense of being somebody that they want me to be. I like where I'm at. I really do. Like, I really enjoy it because, like, I can do what I want on my own terms. I don't have to worry about, you know, consulting, you know, an agent or 
worry about, you know, what sounds good, what doesn't sound good, what I should release, what I shouldn't. You know, I can release what I want, when I want, and not have to worry about a damn thing. Like, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Like, I refuse to go mainstream. I'm not going to be some cookie-cutter bullshit artist that sells out like that. That ain't me. Like, you know, I've worked really long and hard to get to where I'm at. You know, I've worked harder than most anybody will ever realize to get to where I'm at. And now that I'm here, I'm pushing even further and harder for my music. Like, I'm doing everything I got to do to make things work. Like, I mean, if I want to record, I can record. Like, if I want to sit down and take a break and binge watch, you know, Star Wars or cartoons or whatever, I can do that and not have to worry about anybody getting pissy or, you know, getting bitchy with me. Like, that's why I refuse to go mainstream. And, you know, as for that dude that said that my music is a game, to me, it's not a game. You know, it's a way of life for me, like I said. It's, you know, it's something that I do every day, whether I release new music or not. This is something I do every day. I'm always putting, you know, something out, or I'm getting ideas, or doing something within the music you know, round. You know, this is a this is a means for me to make money. And yes, I have a you know, a really good a really cool free show coming up next month. So if you guys are in the Akron area, be sure to hit the vortex up on the twenty first of June. I'm gonna be there at eight PM Yo, Greg, what's up, dude? But, like, you know... Like... Like, you yeah, guys, like, nobody seems to understand that. Yeah, I get that to some of the game, because, you know, you're a rap artist, you're doing this, doing that. Yo, V, I definitely would, like, for sure, but I don't see them on right now, but if I do see them on, I will definitely jump at the chance to bring them on camera, like, for sure. But, you know, I mean, like, I just think it's fucked up that a lot of people think that this shit is a game to me. This is... Like, this is my career. This is something I've worked so hard to do. And some of you know that, you know, some of you guys have seen my struggles and have been there since the very beginning. So you guys that have been there since the first day know all too well, you know, just how hard I fought to get to where I'm at. And the blood, the sweat, the tears that I've gone through just to get here. <clears throat> and Paul, you may have given that shit up, but I haven't. I've not given that up. And I respect that you gave it up for certain reasons, and you got your reasons, but... You know, this is my job. This is my career, man. This ain't a fucking game. And see, a lot of mainstream artists, they put out songs that are like, they make it sound like a game. But the songs I put out are real. They have, you know, meaning behind them. Anyways, y'all. Peace.